Hello, I'm Dr. Catherine Horton. Um, I'm going to continue answering the questions that people have posed and, the, um, and answer the comments that people have made after my interview on the Richie Allen Show. All of the comments are really, really good, and I just want to um, go through them and answer them um, you know, as, as well as I can. I would like to say a couple of things. Number one is I am, as I, as I told you, um, a high energy physicist. I'm a particle physicist. Um, but despite everything, you know, I learned at university and I did for my work. It has to be said that what you do as a particle physicist is not exactly the same as what you do as a radio engineer or as, you know, many other fields that you have to understand to understand that technology. And you have to bear in mind that this technology um, is still classified. And even though a lot of the stuff leaked, it's still, you know, mostly classified. So. What you essentially see is is physicists and fairly, you know, I mean, I'm not that junior, but, you know, I'm also not a professor with 30 years experience. So what you're seeing is essentially um, physicists scrambling to try to re-engineer what's going on. And you kind of have to understand not just the physics, not just in engineering, not just computer science, but also neurology. Most um, physicists don't really know about the physical effects that well. For example, in um, the big accelerator labs, we absolutely make sure there is no human tissue anywhere near the particle beams when we operate them, certainly mm -hmm. for the very, very high energies that I used to work at, you know. So I, and there's this ginormous database of really detailed experimental, actual factual knowledge that you need to have in your head to be able to, you know, quickly make progress in this topic. And I just don't have that data in my head, okay? I don't, for example, know at all how electromagnetic waves interfere in the human body. No idea. I did a brief project in medical physics, but that had nothing to do with this, you know? So if you, if you happen to have been attacked for, say, decades or years, and you have spent years crawling the internet, getting information, then even though I've got a, part, you know, a PhD in particle physics, you might have more information on certain topics. Okay, and instead of just saying, oh, the stupid woman, she doesn't know as much as I do, you know, of course I don't know as much as you do. Because honestly, I started being attacked in January, and since then, for the last 11 months, I've scrambled, mostly for lawyers, mostly for doctors. You know, the last thing in my mind was to go, hmm, I wonder how they engineered that piece of equipment, you know? So I'm trying to understand what they're doing. But mainly, I'm trying to save my life, okay? Because they just really hard hit my kidney two days ago. And I'm in a panic. I can still feel it. And there's serious, real internal damage. Meanwhile, they shoot at my head every couple of seconds. And the reason why you don't see me in pain is because we don't have any nerves inside our heads. But there's ser serious neurological damage actually happening regularly. So I'm just scrambling for help, okay? Um, so if you're unhappy with my explanation or you happen to know more, for example, I am totally aware that what I have here is inadequate, okay? The one thing I found, because I also have to say I don't have any money because I've tried to explain to you, I try to bootstrap a startup on my own. Do you know what a drain of that is on one's finances? Do you know what a drain it is when you're trying to launch a consultancy, actually get some work and you keep getting shot in the head when you're actually trying to network with people? you know, but actually seriously shot in the head so that you almost pass out. It kind of puts a dent into your, you know, income capabilities. So you might have more money, more wisdom, more capabilities and more, you know, actual expertise than I do. But then don't just complain that I'm inadequate because remember, I'm an abuse victim. I do not come here online saying, hey guys, I'm the expert in this field and let me tell you how this works. No, no, no. I'm a victim and I'm scrambling to figure out what the F has happened here in the world, who the hell is responsible for this, and go straight to them and say, you know, you change this now. You know, that's, that's what I'm about. And meanwhile, I'm trying to the, to the absolute best of my ability to figure this out. So I tell you, one or two layers of aluminium are better than nothing for some reason, but not enough. 12 layers of aluminium sheeting seems to do a pretty good job for focused beams, my personal experience, okay? So whatever they put into this stuff, 12 layers of it, <coughs> excuse me, really 
make you feel better if you're in agonizing pain on one point of your body but you it doesn't make you feel better at all when they do one set of type of mode when they attack for example Brian Q and he's screaming you know and and he just he just has this ginormous headache and a high screech peach a high pitch screech I don't think that's actually done with directed beams necessarily I think you know maybe the sound might be um, possibly based on what I roughly can guess about the technology um, but I think there are other frequencies involved which will be just filling the room like your mobile phone signal you know it's just everywhere and to block it out you're essentially in like this radiation bath and something inside your um, neurotransmitters you know and inside your head actually you know reacts with that stuff causing you possibly intense headaches I think this is how it works but I'm not sure so please if you have more more information instead of just saying oh, stupid woman because hello I am an abuse victim okay so if someone literally got battered in the street a woman got battered by a thug and bleeding she carries herself to the um, police station and then she reports on the crime you know, the police officer also doesn't go like, oh, she doesn't know, like, the first thing about baseball bats, does she? You know, because clearly looking at her injuries, it's clear that it's a size 16 baseball bat and not a size 8, like she claims. You know, it's that sort of stuff. Because honestly, I'm trying to save my life, okay? I don't have a PhD in this, in this bullshit tech that they are using, okay? And one thing I know for sure is whatever I was taught at Oxford is not fricking enough to figure this out. It really fricking isn't. And what I have heard is that there's also new little twists um, from electrodynamics, which I kind of can guess that there should be in there, non-linear parts, but no one's ever taught me. And frankly, for the last 11 months, the last thing on my agenda was to sit down in a library with a book and swat up on this, because frankly, I am dying. Sorry. So just to explain why I might not be like, you know, perfect for you guys, but I'll tell you what I'll try to do, and that is to give you the best of my knowledge, my current knowledge, remembering that I've been in this game only really with open eyes, like, holy shit, this is real, since January, when they actually started physically shooting at me in a way that made it obvious that this is not, you know, just random chance so if you've been in this for it's years you know more than me and then just put the information out there post it you know instead of every criticism just go okay here you need to learn this you need to learn that and I promise you I will try to catch up as quickly as I can okay meanwhile I'll answer your questions to the best of my knowledge okay so so this is maybe I should stop the video here and this is just a disclaimer okay so Remember, I'm a particle physicist. I'm not a radio engineer. I'm not a communications technology PhD. You know, I do. I'm not even like you know that in tune. I think if you get a um, a radio astronomer, you might have more of a chance getting actual detailed expertise out of him, because I think a lot of the stuff that's being used falls into radio astronomy and their equipment that they use to detect stars for you know genuine reasons not for murdering people sort of reasons and I think they might more have more of a bet so if you can in the nearby university if you've got a radio astronomer can you ask him because then they are inside the system and they can access other researchers they can pull information and ask them if anything that you know somehow rings a bell in their head and also remember that if academics do not reply like straight away first of all when you go to them you have to be like over conservative you know so if you go you know in jeans and t-shirt even though they wear jeans and t-shirt you know they'll think oh but who are they they don't have a PhD it's true they are that freaking arrogant and frankly Academics inside the system are up against that and we have got problems getting sometimes be heard, you know So this is nothing personal to you. These people are just arrogant against everybody, you know, so but don't let you You know, don't be scared off by that. Keep going and if you go What you say can be whatever you want to say 
but you have to your first expression has to be like don't disconcert these guys you know just come across as like really box standard normal so if you go in there and you've got tattoos across your face I don't mind tattoos I think you can look the way that you like and I have learned to just listen to what you say and x-ray like just look through you and your appearance doesn't matter you know but I'm not really like all the academics you might have noticed because that's why I'm not inside academia anymore because they really effing pissed me off at some point you know and I thought you know I'm it is place is too small for me so these people right they have they are also limited they they and also they live a very peaceful life you know so like the smallest thing you can tell them probably will give them indigestion for one afternoon so Go, do and get these people on board and I will do my best to get them on board as well okay so that's my on my to-do list this week but when you approach people just like remember you have to feel feed them like you know homeopathic doses and then slowly get them on because you know so much it would just blow a normal person's brain straight away okay so um this is just about explaining why I might not be an expert and yes people have pointed out that all oh, this material isn't actually the best thing that you should use I know I use it because it's cheap maybe like the actual protection it gives me is just purely psychosomatic and they actually just you know sh punch through regardless could also be okay and I am not gonna take this off because last time I did literally the back of my head cooked okay so when my parents-in-law were visiting of course I don't want to have like you know military emergency installation in my study so I've removed everything you know and when they were gone and I wasn't actually I was attacked still whilst they were here but I wasn't attacked as hard so I basically just suffered through it but when they were gone I thought right I like my office the normal way and I'll keep it like that and the first hour I sat down on my desk was the biggest regret because literally the back of my head got cooked so very very quickly I put this stuff back on do you see and if you think oh that doesn't I like one of the comments is all oh, that you know damages her credibility like fuck you you know what? If someone says that they're attacked and they've got a neat flat, I'm like, what the fuck is your shielding? Because I know how this feels. Do you know? I mean, I really know how this feels and this is unpleasant because they actually fry your internal organs, right? I mean, it goes through freaking house walls and the fact that microwaves go through house walls, through brick and, brick and concrete, you can find out yourself. Okay? I'm not saying anything like outrageous. I'm saying something that's just simple physics. If they crank up the power enough, it will go through to a significant amount of, you know, a transmission that it will actually have an effect inside you. But then if it goes through a wall, it's going to go through your body as well. So when they cause pain inside of your body, they must have deposited by some means even more energy inside your body. And I think the key is crossed over beams. And I think the crossed over beams are also the reason why someone next to you might not be feeling this. Okay, so to the best of my knowledge, but then again, I, I'm also not actually, you know, owning this equipment, so I can just figure it out, you know, kind of feel myself along the wall in a really dark labyrinth, okay? So if you're looking at me top down and you think, God, this woman is lost, then please give me pointers for God's sake, okay? Anyway, just that's just a, you know, general disclaimer for what I can give you. <laughs>